I'm Daniel, and today I'd like to give you a quick update of my current project, the PicoHealth 2. It features a 4-inch high-res square display with a 720x720 720 pixel resolution, a decent speaker, and a D-pad as well as an analog stick. And best of all, it has an all-aluminum case. What you can see here is a prototype based on the Raspberry Pi 20W. Now, I'm not too much of a fan of the Linux-based Raspberry Pis as emulator consoles, because it takes them very long to boot, and setting them up as well as configuring them is always a hassle. So the PicoHell 2 will eventually come in two flavors, one featuring the yet-to-be-released ESP32P4, and the other one featuring the Raspberry Pi RP2350 microcontroller. On the bottom side, you can see the SD card holder, USB port, a headphone jack, the speaker outlet next to a status LED. On the top there are two classic shoulder buttons featuring rubber contacts. And this is the current status of the ESP32P4 version. The power supply, battery charging, LCD speaker, buttons and so on are already operational. The prototype case was 3D printed while the final version will also be made of aluminum, just like the other prototype you just saw. Here you can see the board running the SNES 9X emulator. And that's about it. If I've sparked your interest and you'd like to get involved or want more information, you can visit the project at hackaday.io. I'm currently working with Weird Jin from Hackaday and he's done a great job taking the project to the next level. Check it out in the description below. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time. Bye!